Chapter 20 Intuitive Selling By Dennis Higgins To increase your sales, learn to ask questions on a subjective, intuitive level. Before you meet with a person, you can earn the right to ask them subjective questions by working a health case on them. That's a moral feeling on my part. Working a health case means checking a person out physically to determine if they have any health problems. If so, then you mentally correct them. First you help them, and that will tune you into them. In the Silva courses, you get all kinds of points of reference by projecting into metals, plants, and animals. Have you been getting points of reference in your sales field? Are you getting points of reference on desire? Are you getting points of reference on why people want to buy? Are you getting points of reference on when it's time to close a deal? How would you do that? How would you get points of reference on when someone is ready to close? You could go to level, go back over sales that you have made, follow that person, and see when it was that he or she was ready to say yes. That becomes a point of reference for you. Feel it. Feel what it felt like to sit there. Listen to what the person is saying and the meaning behind the words. Replay the conversation and make that point of reference yours. Then recall another sale when somebody bought from you and make that a point of reference. Everyone wants to know, how do I handle objections? Your job is to find out what they want and to find out how your product can help them attain it. So when somebody comes up with an objection, what is the first thing you would do as a Silva grad? Go to level. Put your three fingers together. Defocus your vision. Take a deep breath. Mentally ask them, what's your real objection? Using the Silva method while you are on your feet is very simple. Use the tools that you have. If I'm going to go talk to a group of people that I don't know, I try to get points of reference. Where is the building where you will be making the presentation? Look it up on the map. Visit the building. Get some points of reference. Who are these people? What are their names? At least get the name of the company. If you know where the building is, then you can go see what kind of people go in there every day. The night before a big talk, you can program yourself to wake up automatically at the exact time when most of those people are going to be the most receptive. Then program them. And program yourself. Then when you walk into the room, make your talk a needs-based talk. In fact, it would be great to make your life a needs-based life, so that you can leave this a better world, as Jose Silva said. If you really care about the people that you do business with, it shows. Dealing with fear some people are afraid to go see big clients, or to go see a lot of clients. It's okay to admit that you are afraid. That's why we have the blue-framed mirror. At level, you can identify what it is you fear. Let's say you don't like making cold calls on the telephone. If you don't know why, then enter your level and mentally picture yourself calling someone. See what happens, what the person's response is, and what you might be afraid of. Perhaps you don't want to bother people, because you know that they are busy. You want to be liked, so you don't want to be a bother. If this is the case, go to level and ask what the reasons are that someone would want to talk to you and would like you. Instead of focusing on yourself, focus on your client. Maybe you are afraid that they will say no because of a lack of money. Enter your level and ask yourself how many of the people that you are going to sell to really can buy your product. Ask yourself why they would buy your product. Perhaps you are afraid of being rejected. Go to your level and think about whether clients are rejecting you or rejecting the product. Don't make yourself the issue. As long as you are concentrating on the client's needs, you are not the issue. When you enter your level yourself, and you ask yourself these types of questions, then you will come up with the answers that are right for you. One of the greatest discoveries of Jose Silva's research is that nobody can do it for you as well as you can do it for yourself. Not a hypnotist. Not a sales manager. Not a psychologist. You can help yourself more effectively and quickly than anyone. How to Establish Instant Rapport When we taught the first Silva Sales Lecture Series, Jose sat in to see how we were doing. 
he was so enthusiastic that he gave us a new technique on the spot. It is a technique that you can use to establish instant rapport with a person, even if you are meeting them for the first time. Here's what he taught us to do. At night, when you are ready to go to sleep, enter your level and program yourself to automatically wake up at the ideal time to use the technique. Then the first time you wake up during the night, or in the morning, enter your level and program it. At your level, bring together the tips of the thumb and first two fingers of either hand. Then tell yourself that when you meet the person you have in mind, all you need to do is to relax and apply your three fingers technique, as you are doing while at your level, and the person will sense that you are there to help them, that you are being honest with them, and that they can trust you. Just one cautionary note, tell the truth. They will sense what you really feel, so if you are planning to take advantage of them in some way, they'll sense that very quickly and you won't make a sale. The law of cause and effect works. But if you sincerely want to help people, and you are willing to do what is best for your client because that is the right thing to do, then they will sense it and will immediately like you and trust you. Dennis Higgins used the Silva techniques he learned in 1971 to become a top salesman, selling executive development training to banks, corporations, and marketing companies. He worked on sales power with Jose Silva and developed the Silva Sales Power Home Study Course.